When you insert a picture into your document, it usually rearranges your text, and it's kind of hard to move it where you want it to go. Let's take a look at the text wrap features so that you can move your image where you want it to go on your page. Scroll down to page two and click right before the word in. Go up to the insert tab and click on picture. Navigate to your exercise files and we're in chapter one and I have an image of oil bottles. If you don't have our exercise files, you can use any image you'd like and I'll click insert. Now, when you insert a graphic into your document, by default, it acts like a giant letter A. Notice that the text is aligned at the bottom of the picture and there's a lot of space up into the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the picture and then the picture tools format ribbon appears. And we're gonna come over here to the wrap text button. I'll click on it and I can see that it comes in in line with text, meaning that it's basically a giant letter A. So I'm gonna start by changing this to square. What square does is two things. First, it allows the text to wrap up next to the image, and it also allows you to pick up your image right in the middle and drag it anywhere that you want it to go on your screen. So this is one of my most frequently used text wraps. But there's other options as well. When I click back on wrap text, there's an option for tight, which will force your text to flow around the shape of your object, and through, which will allow your text to flow in the middle of your object. Now for both of those two objects, we didn't see it happen, and that's because in a few minutes we're going to need to edit our wrap points. But let's take a look at the rest of our options first. Top and bottom will force your text to the top and the bottom of the image, but never allow it to flow on the sides. Behind text will allow your text to flow over the picture, and in front of text puts your picture over the text, and it's literally blocking it out. So let's start with tight. I'll click on tight on the dropdown, and then I'm gonna go back to the wrap text button again, and I'm gonna tell it that I want to edit the wrap points. And notice now that my box boundaries turn red and they have a black dot. I can pick up these boundaries and drag them closer to the image so that the text flows around it. I can move them up. I can also create new wrap points. When I hold my cursor over the red line, I get this little square with some lines on it, and I can pull it in towards the bottle, which will allow the text to flow in the same curve as the bottle. If I pick up my picture and move it, and then I'm gonna go back to the wrap text button again, and I'm gonna tell it that I want to edit the wrap points. I can then adjust my wrap points even further. If I wanna move the text out, I'll drag the wrap point to the right. And if I wanna move it in, I'll pull it in. So that's how to make a picture tight. If I want the text to actually flow through the center of the graphic, I'm gonna change my wrap to through, and then go back to editing my wrap points. I'll click here, and move it a little bit to give it a dot. And now I'm gonna move over a little bit and pull down. Now my text starts to flow in the middle. I need this part to come back up over the bottle, but I want this part to come further in. So you can keep playing with these wrap points until you get it perfect. Now after I get my wrap point set, I have to watch out for my text. What I don't wanna do is orphan any words in the middle. So I'm gonna click on my picture and try and fine tune this a little bit. I like to move the picture not by picking it up and dragging it, but by using my up, down, left, and right arrows until the text flows smoothly. The biggest thing to watch out for are any words like this where I have year all by itself. It's gonna be really hard for the reader to be able to read extra virgin olive oil production winning awards year after year. So I wanna make sure I'm gonna move that up a little bit until the text flows a little bit better. Once you have it where you like it, you can click off. When we first inserted the picture, it really distorted my text. Most of the time, I like my graphics square. So you can set that as the default so that every time you insert a picture, it starts as square, and then you can change it from there. To do that, go up to the File tab. Go down to Options. Click on the Advanced button, and then look down here at the bottom of Cut, Copy, and Paste. Right here it says Insert Paste Pictures As, and it defaults to inline with text. I like to change this to square, and then click OK. Now, if I scroll down further in the manual, and just for kicks, insert that same image again, insert picture, olive oil bottles, notice that this time it instantly came in square, and I can start manipulating the picture to my heart's content floating your images anywhere you want on the page and controlling how the text wraps around them will allow you to create dynamic, interesting page layouts.